Now we can talk about the light because here I don't have the light. And for create the good rendering, it's also important to create the good lighting. Good lighting inside uh, Houdini, it's uh, a few particular, you have a lot of uh, kind of light, but it's very easy to use that. that. Usually the light is uh, have the light like the point light, the spot light, the area light, the geometry light, the volume light, the distant light, and the environment light. Also have the sky light and GI light. The light, here I have my point light, and it's uh, the light is very easy to understand what is the point light. The point light, it's the omni light, it's one light, it's created one source here, and every position is like the sphere is uh, take and uh, have the light in all direction. Okay. Also, I see the effects uh, in my viewport. In my viewport, I can here go here. I have a no the um, no display disable the light or enable the light. You can also have the very different kind of uh, element you can see uh, effects in your light. Okay. This is very comfortable for understand maybe some effects. Also from the light, you can see here, uh, the transformation is the position of your light, obviously. And uh, here I have the, if enable, enable in viewport, because also you can enable or disable in viewport for work better. Here is the type, it's uh, the point, it's the line, it's the grid, it's the disk. Uh, it's not change the, the effects in viewport. Or the sphere or the tube. Also I can have the tube effects. And the geometry, I can assign the geometry of my element. The distance is like the panel more distance from your camera. And for example, I can back to the light, the point light. The point light here, I have the color and I can choose, for example, RGB or for example, I can also, yeah, use the temperature. You can use it for create the light, okay? The light usually here is white, but you can also change, for example, if I assign blue, yellow, green, uh, channel, and etc. you have the different kind of effects. Also here, the intensity and the exposure. The intensity is uh, the value you can say, for example, 10 is multiply for create a more intensity light. But it's the same with the exposure. If I say 10, I have a different kind of exposure. It's uh, a few difference, but it, usually you can use that, for example, it's uh, very, dramatic when you use that only that because uh, it's very difficult to find a good balance with the exposure usually you can put only this on two and you can then you can use that for example 60 for every different kind of effects but uh, the light it's uh, i think is very the situation where is you can paint uh, and you can draw in your sheen okay with the light you can draw in you can have uh, a different kinds of situation. Here, if you use the spotlight, for example, and I can click spotlight, and the spotlight is the one point, and find here. Is one point with the directional light with the cone, and it's like the target where it's going. can disable the point light and I want to able only the light. Here it's uh, take only this area, okay? And also have the cone light is uh, how much is big that, how much is big that the uh, outside cone is for create the, the blur from this to this. You can see it's change a few. And maybe in the viewport is not have the, the, the good result. And also you have the con roll. The con roll, it's a roll off. It's the roll off for your con.
Also, I can use also, for example, you can say the shadow here. The shadow is a ray trace, is depth map, or you can uh, don't have shadow. Shadow, you can also change the color. This is another aspect more important of 3D. You can cheat on the reality. You can change, for example, the color of your shadow for have a different kind of effects in your product. But it's not rendered that. If I render that now, I come back, for example, to camera one, for sure. And if I come back, for example, on rendering here, AC, I have this rendering. Also here, if I go here, and if I change, for example, the intensity of life to 10, I have a very different effects. But this light, it's only directional light. You don't have indirect light here. You don't have the effects, so you have only one source here, and you see also is black, is uh, only directional. You don't have the effects of GI or global illumination. Global illumination, also called in directional illumination, it's the effects you can have with the bounce of your light in the sheen, in the wall. For example, here, um, there is, maybe I need to change a few, yeah, I need to change a few my box here, I can copy the box, okay, now if I come back on my render view, okay, also I change my camera, Here, you see now, okay, I have the dish directional light, but here is black, is totally in the shadow. And also in the, in the real world, this is not happen never, because, because the light is arrived, is bounced around your sheen, and here is come here and create also some part is lighting, okay? Also in the shadow, you can find the light. There is some situation where it's the light, you can see anything because uh, our eyes have uh, the limitation for capture the information of light, okay? If the spectrum is very limitation. For example, the cat or the dog have a different kind of eyes and a different kind of spectrum of uh, the light for analyze the light and you can see also in the dark. For example, the cat is can see in the dark and you can see in the dark, you can go here, maybe you, you, you don't see nothing, maybe the cat sees something. But however, we are human, we are not alien, we are not the cats, so we can understand these effects. Here we need also to create a few effects of our GI light, okay? GI light, it's the global illumination you can use, for example, for create the bounce here. And there is some way for create that in a 3D package. One is create with the fake light, fake GI, with another kind of light. For example, I can take, for example, my point light here. I can enable. Also, if I enable here, it's uh, you can see. But also I can go, oops, can jump out the camera. I can take this and I can put this here. And I can bring down, for example, one or zero, zero point twenty five, and I change color with the white for now. Okay. Also, I can say this effects is not uh, where is the properties distance attenuation. Okay. Also, the attenuation attenuation is the effects for attenuation for creating more. Okay. Okay. 0, 0 0.25 the distance 0 0.5 1 1 point 
25. Okay. Now I create here the light and if I come back on the, here, I see my light, okay. I have the effects of the light is bouncing here and create also the light here. Obviously, if I bring down, for example, 0 0.1, I have the effects, but it's the fake, it's not the real analyze for create the global illumination. I can create also the same effects with using, for example, the environment light and environment light, if I, for example, disable that and create by default the environment light, is create here the environment light with one, one, and we can come back to render view. You see here now, I have the effects of my light. The environment light, how is work that? I have here my, for example, my plane, my sheen, and here my environment light is create like this hemisphere, and is take the light is bring down here and is illuminate here and create these effects is very nice to see.